David Campbell Bannerman, you may not have heard of his name. Uh, he was the deputy leader of UKIP. And he is the founder of an organization called the Conservative Democratic Organization. And that's really a sort of rabble rouser to bring back Boris. It's a pressure group uh, created by, uh, or created for Boris and Liz Johnson. Um, it's going to have its first meeting on the 13th of May. Uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg, Nadine Doris, Priti Patel, they're all going to be giving speeches. And uh, it's going to be the week after the local elections, which are expected, I think, by the Conservative Party to be disastrous. So this is this is the proof that the Conservative Party uh, has now lurched permanently into the territory of UKIP. Now, UKIP, as you may know, if you followed what I've been doing, UKIP um, was run uh, in, in at the top of UKIP. There was a racist organisation. It was fundamentally racist. And I think today is the right day to be reminding people of that. It was UKIP uh, that I exposed as racist uh, with reference to Humza Yusuf, who has just become the first minister. It was a UKIP MEP, David Coburn, who made the scurrilous joke about forgetting Humza Yusuf's name. Uh, Humza Yusuf, as I like to call him, Abu Hamza. Oh. Not funny, really. And Nigel Farage could not see that uh, humour is just, uh, that sort of humour is just casual racism. Humza Yusuf uh, is a minister of the crown, a senior member of the SNP. He was a senior member of the SNP at that time. I think it was back in uh, 2014 or 2015. And he was being ridiculed and compared to a man who had just been imprisoned in New York, who had hooks for hands, who was convicted as of terrorism. The only link between Humza Yusuf and Abu Hamza is the inability of David Coburn to distinguish one from the other name because the name sounded foreign. He thought they were a joke. That is racism. And I met a number of racists in UKIP. I joined UKIP because I was concerned about the direction that Europe was taking. I didn't believe in Brexit, but I did believe in the reform of Europe. I still believe in the reform of Europe. I was told that UKIP was racist. I didn't believe people. I wanted to find out if this was true. The only way to do that was to enter the organisation. I did. It was. Full stop. And now that racism is brought into the Conservative Party. It's shocking. It is deeply shocking. So when we hear Suella Braverman stand at the dispatch box and scream, INVASION! We know that is racist too. Racism has entered mainstream British politics. And the xenophobia which is being drummed up is racism by another name. The hatred of foreigners, the fear of foreigners, the exclusion of foreigners from our shores who are coming to us and appealing for our help, these vulnerable individuals who are being referred to as people in small boats. This is a shameful policy put forward by a shameful group of MPs who have been infected by the disease put out by UKIP. And now, David Campbell Bannerman who actually bears a name of one of the great liberal um, MPs of the past, David Campbell Bannerman, formerly of UKIP, is now redefining 
the Conservative Party. Be warned. Be warned.